A coal burning power plant burns approximately 3,250 tons of coal daily. The ash content of the coal is 6.2% and the sulfur content is 2.15% by weight. The rate of calcium carbonate needed to capture 92.5% of the sulfur dioxide generated is more nearly A. 50 B. 100 C. 150 or D. 200. Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we'll focus on coal and how it's used to produce energy. Coal is a combustible black or brownish black sedimentary rock usually occurring in rock strata in layers or veins called coal beds or coal seams. Coal is composed primarily of carbon along with variable quantities of other elements, chiefly hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, and nitrogen. Coal is a fossil fuel that forms when dead plant matter is converted into several different types of matter by many biological and geological processes that take place over time. Coal is extracted from the ground by coal mining. Since the 1980s, the world's top coal producer has been China. In 2015, China produced almost 4 billion tons of coal. 48% of the world's total coal production. Other large producers at this time were the US, India, the European Union, and Australia. Throughout human history, coal has been used as an energy resource, primarily burned for the production of electricity and heat, and is also used for industrial purposes, such as refining metals and other things. Coal is the largest source of energy for the generation of electricity worldwide as well as one of the largest worldwide anthropogenic sources of carbon dioxide releases. The extraction of coal, its use in energy production, and its byproducts are all associated with environmental and health effects, including climate change. There are two primary chemical reactions we need to keep in mind for this scenario, which are the conversion of sulfur to sulfur dioxide and the capture of that same sulfur dioxide using calcium carbonate, also known as limestone. For the sake of time on this problem, I have gone ahead and balanced both reactions to ensure the number of constituents on both sides are equal. In essence, for the capture of the sulfur dioxide by the calcium carbonate, converting to calcium sulfate in the second equation, there is one out atom of calcium on both the reactant and product side. Having these balanced equations will now help us solve this problem. So we have a coal usage rate of 3,250 tons daily and only 2.15% of this usage will consist of sulfur. Looking at our first equation, one mole of sulfur, which weighs 32 grams, will create one mole of sulfur dioxide, which weighs 64 grams. Using this information and extrapolating from grams to tons, we can calculate that 139.75 tons of sulfur dioxide will be created daily from burning this coal. Now we will calculate how much limestone we need based off of how much sulfur dioxide we generate. So we only need to capture 92.5% of the sulfur dioxide and based off of the reaction, one mole of calcium carbonate is enough to capture one mole of sulfur dioxide. We already said that one mole of sulfur dioxide weighs 64 grams and we can find that one mole of calcium carbonate weighs 100 grams, which you can calculate from adding all of the atomic weights from the chemical constituents in that material. So with this information, I calculate that we need approximately 202 tons of calcium carbonate daily to capture the necessary percentage of sulfur dioxide. This answer is closest to D. Join us for episode 13 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.